I had extremely good video here, but the lightning storm outside killed all the power and everything went haywire. Anyways, this is the Acer Predator Acer Predator N18W3PT515. The problem turned out to be a capacitor right here, right there, which I just got desoldered. And it's melted the motherboard a little bit. So I'm trying to see if it's gonna be causing an issue. Another problem is uh, the uh, the manufacturer used Arctic Silver and all this Arctic Silver went all over the place and that's probably the reason why... Ooh. Still shorting or not? Those are steady. How about here? You know what? It's still shorting. Oh no, it's not shorting. Okay. So the problem was... Um, I was thinking it was a diode right here that melted through the motherboard and it was melting my cables away and it melted the original uh, connector and original jacks right there on the on the plug so I kept using the floor and I saw that uh, the cables are melting again and this guy is overheating and it turned out to be this guy is probably causing the melting of everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble it all back and hopefully, hopefully, the the overheating right there will go away. If it won't go away, I'm just gonna be done with the system because uh, really, it's I, I spent three days on the system, and this isn't going anywhere. And the previous video was so good. I'm not sure if if it got sh if it got saved or not. If it was saved, I will compile the two videos together. Yeah, you could see this uh, Arctic Silver is being all over the place. It's hard to take it off of there. Alright, like that, like that, like that. I wonder if that capacitor could have been making things work and at the same time give problems to me and to the client. So let's assemble this whole thing back. Right there, there is some burning through the motherboard, so we're not going to touch that. We connected the black wire to the ground. We connected the positive to the positive right there. And everything in theory should work, assuming we got rid of the... You know what, I didn't look at the top of the situation here. Ah, uh, you know what. It was basically the... Uh, the... Uh, Seems like the heatsink touched the touched the area there, and that's the reason why uh, why everything shorted. So here, what I want to do is I'm probably gonna put some tape underneath there. So we wouldn't be getting any shortages from that area. Something like that. Good job. The only problem is I get a whole bunch of again Arctic silver on my mask. Alrighty. 
Let's put it all back together one more time. I want to put some tape right there on top of this connection. Well, uh, in fact, I want to put some tape underneath the positive wire. Okay. Put some tape like that. And we will see under the floor if the system will still give me a short. Like that. Like that. I'm exhausted from the system, honestly. This is just exhausting laptop to work on. Chasing gremlins is really the the worst part of this uh, situation. Of this business, I meant to say. All right. Oh, seriously, I'm done with the system. I mean, it's not going to power up right now. Uh, three days of work is really... I mean, I have to move on. I got other clients trying to get things done as well. Uh, so we're going to screw this guy here. All right, so what I want to do is I want to see and monitor under the floor camera one more time. If we're going to get the... overheating at this point here right there if you're gonna get the overheating there that means we are not getting anything done All right, power, and do we have anything spinning? Nothing spinning. Let's try one more time. All right, so we got some stuff spinning. Let's switch to the infrared camera, and let's see if those wires are heating up pretty bad. Yeah, we still get the shortage. Yeah, you see, thirty-five. There is seven. Oh, we got two spots now where we get shortage. So we get uh, the uh, wires heating up. We get we got the second spot here someplace. Right there, forty one. Right here, forty two degrees. Do we get any other heat spots? 38 degrees, 40 degrees, let me see, right there, uh, 
Looks like it's on the other side of the motherboard. Yeah. No, this is this isn't working out for me. Nope. Nope. We get a shortage here, we get a shortage there, and it's all nice and warm here. No, guys, I mean, I can't really spend all my day working on this thing. Three days, three days. That's it. I'm done. Three days. So many hours of uh, of video recording. The stuff keeps popping up here and there. But the problem was originally the problem was that the melted component, uh, which melted pretty much everything else, the system was kept working. But uh, you see the cables get heated up. Stuff gets melted there. This is no use. I'm not gonna connect the battery on purpose because this is not uh, not gonna be safe to transport it like that. All right, that's let's keep it like that. All right, guys, thank thanks so much for watching. Um, please leave a like, subscribe. But um, two more damages. This is just not fixable. So. Acer Predators, don't even bother sending it over because uh, it's all just a waste of my time. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.